Another Tattletale Theory? You betcha! Hey you prodigies, Prod Charles here, and in this video I will be sharing with you another Tattletale Theory. This one will explain when Mama was banned and the possible history of Mama. If you would like more Tattletale Theories, remember to subscribe and tap that bell, as on top of the many theories I have already made, there will be more to come. If you think that this video is too long for you to watch, remember that you can tap add to and select watch later to save your progress, or just do it for fun. Let's start with what we know. We know that Tattletale, the game, is designed to give us reasons why Mama was potentially banned through its story. We also know that Mama was banned before the events of the game, according to the Steam page. According to the game and the trailer, the events of the game take place in 1998. Mama is commonly also compared to the toy in real life, the Teddy Ruxpin, by the Tattletale community. Got all those facts? Now let's bring it all together. According to the Steam page, Mama was said to be banned before the Baby Talking Tattletale was released. But not many people point out that the Steam page mentions that Mama was banned years before the release of the Talking Tattletales. How can we determine the time period in which Mama was banned if she wasn't banned during the events of the game. There are two ways that I will share with you. One, we need to recognize that Mama could not have been banned on or after 1998 due to the wording of the Steam page. And two, we can draw comparisons with a real life toy that many believe Mama to be based on, the Teddy Ruxpin. The Teddy Ruxpin was an old toy that worked by inserting audio cassettes into it to tell stories, much like Mama Tattletale, and it moved its facial features around as it told these stories. Hi there. How are you today? What's even freakier is that it makes a similar tone to the mama sound that we hear in the game as it speaks. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. The children thought that mama would never find them as long as she couldn't see them. Looking at the toy's history, many people believed it to be a very scary toy but I cannot find any legitimate evidence that the toy was ever banned or recalled for harming its owners. Even though it may not ever have been dangerous, although that moving mouth does look like it could nip somebody, we may be able to compare the life of the Teddy Ruxpin with that of Mama. From this, we can guess at when Mama was released by looking at the release information of Teddy Ruxpin. That is also where Mama's possible history comes in. From this information, we can see that Teddy Ruxpin was released in 1985. So now we have some interesting and important information. We now know that Mama could have been in circulation between 1985 and 1998. While the Steam page suggests that Mama was banned many years before the release of the Baby Tattletales, I would like to be conservative and say that this would be at least three years before. This means that Mama could now have been sold between 1985 and 1995. Can we narrow this down any further though? Actually, we can. We can also see that the Teddy Ruxpin had three separate releases before the year 2000. One run from 1985 until 1988, which is when the first company that made it, Worlds of Wonder, or WOW, released it before they went bankrupt. There was also another run in 1991 to 1996. This happened when Hasbro, a popular toy company that many of you probably already know, picked up the rights to sell the toy. Interestingly, another version was made by a company called Yes Entertainment, who was owned by the same person who owned WoW in 1998. The reason why I mentioned the release in 1998 is because it is particularly interesting information that helps us mirror Mama's production periods with Teddy Ruxpins. Why? We have already suggested that Mama was to receive a 1998 release in the Mama is only a prototype conspiracy theory. What's even more shocking is that the 1998 release of the Teddy Ruxpin had a video pack accessory that allowed it to comment on what you were watching on the TV through your VCR and a Teddy Ruxpin TV show was released on VHS tape around this time. It's almost as if this fact alone gives us enough reason to compare Teddy Ruxpin with Mama. Even if the Teddy Ruxpin was never banned, as Mama had a cursed VHS tape in the game, it's even been reported that some packs of this 1998 version of the Teddy Ruxpin were defective, possibly mirroring the defective prototype Mama in the game. As for narrowing down Mama's banning period, as production of the Teddy Ruxpin was first stopped in 1988, we may be able to assume that Mama was now banned between 1988 and 1995. Going any further than this might be a bit of a stretch though. I could point to the fact that the developers appear to be 90s kids. Ben Esposito, one of the developers of Tattletale, was in the Forbes 30 under 30 list for 2015. Psst, this means that he was under 30. Geneva Hodgson, co-creator and artist for Tattletale, as well as the voice actor for Mama, praises DeviantArt for being a source of valuable knowledge over her school days. 
Tom Asshole, lead programmer for the game who also had a huge part in contributing to Tattletale, was in school game jams in 2009, and Ryan Shannon, voice of Tattletale, is 22 as of the making of this video. All of these facts put them in that 90s kid territory. Before I sound like any more of a stalker, I promise this was easily googleable stuff. This stretch would most probably limit the banning of Mama to the years of the Hasbro release until 1995, when all of the people involved in making the game would have also been children, as that is when any interaction that they had with Teddy Ruxpin would have been fresh for them. And we are also taking our earlier constraints into account. So from all of the facts that we've mentioned so far, by a stretch, the banning of Mama would have happened between around 1991 and 1995. Assuming that Mama had at least a year to have any strange cases of harming children detected, we could probably narrow this down at most to 1992 to 1995. And there you have it. Not only do we have a potential history of Mama, we also have a potential period in which Mama may have been banned that makes sense when compared to the events of the game. Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more interesting horror game theories and secrets. If you can't get enough Tattletale theories, be sure to check the description for a link to all of the theories and secrets. And Prodigies, I really hope that these theories help you to expand on how you think so it can help you with how you go about your thinking in your daily lives. See ya!